click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends i welcome you all to this video we are with the microwave resonators learning in the chapter for microwave engineering subject so in this subject so far we have understood what exactly the series and parallel resonant circuits are with respect to the lumped elements r l and c and now extending it to the short circuited and open circuited conditions corresponding to lambda by 2 lambda by 4 lines with the knowledge of quality factor we have now the cavity resonators made possible so for having the cavity resonators we take the understanding from the previous chapters for the rectangular and circular wave guides so rectangular wave guide we hope it is a hollow metallic tube having rectangular cross section and when it is closed at both the ends with the help of short circuited plates it becomes rectangular cavity resonator so now we have discussed that particular topic and also derived a simple relation to find the resonant frequency that depends on to the dimensional values and the mode of propagation for the microwave signal so in the previous problem also we have derived the value of the resonant frequency let us have one more problem so here we have a problem statement calculate the lowest resonant frequency of a rectangular cavity resonator of dimensions a is equal to 2 cm b is equal to 1 cm and d is equal to 3 cm see in this problem statement we are provided the dimensions all the three dimensions that it is breadth of the rectangular cross section width of the rectangular cross section and length of the cavity resonator now what is asked we are asked the value of lowest resonant frequency the resonant frequency we generally used to represent f sub x r here but we want the lowest value here see the lowest value for the resonant frequency whenever it is obtained so for that particular resonator we call the mode of operation to be the dominant mode of operation here so for the rectangular cavity resonator we know that the dominant mode of operation is possible for the combination of transverse electric having 101 configuration here so in general we represent transverse electric t sub x m n p here so m is equal to 1 n is equal to 0 and p is equal to 1 here so let us have the substitutions of m n p is equal to 101 along with the dimensions to be substituted for the formula of resonant frequency and it will be the lowest value for the device there so here the value of resonant frequency can be determined with the formula f r is equal to we have c divided by 2 in multiplication to the square bracket that has small m by a bracket squared added with small n by b again squared and finally we have p by d that is also squared here and this addition of squares is under square root here so it is having the power 1 by 2 here so we know that for the dominant mode of operation we obtained the wavelength to be of highest value whereas the frequency of least value so the frequency and wavelength have inverse relation so for te101 it implies that the lowest frequency value of resonance is obtained c is equal to the velocity of light into the vacuum or air the constant value 3 into 10 to the to the power 8 in terms of meters per second but as the lengths of the rectangular cavity resonator are into the centimeters we put it 3 into 10 to the to the power 10 so this is divided by 2 now here inside the square bracket as it is t suffix 1 the first suffix m is to be substituted 1 here now divided by small a 
so small a value in terms of centimeters is provided to us a is equal to 2 centimeters so it is equal to 2 here which is to be squared now n is to be substituted so as the value is 0 so 0 divided by b will be 0 the square of 0 it will be 0 we get the middle term like this whereas in the third place we want p so p is equal to 1 we put 1 divided by small d it is so small d is the length of the given the cavity resonator of rectangular cross section so it is equal to 3 centimeters so 1 divided by 3 it is so this is also to be squared and the addition is to be put under square root here so we make the calculations further computed so it is 3 into 10 raised to the power 10 divided by 2 here i just mentioned it is a square root so 1 by 2 it is 0 0.5 square added with 1 by 3 here we can be having it is 0 0.3333 which is to be squared here so finally this computation results into the value of resonant frequency is equal to 9 into 10 raised to the power 9 so the frequency is in terms of hertz we can express it to the form 9 gigahertz here giga for 10 raised to the power 9 here so i just outline this particular value so this was our problem statement we were asked to determine the lowest possible value of resonant frequency for the given rectangular cavity resonator of dimensions a b d and the mode of propagation we have imagined for the dominant case to be the te 101 the assumption we had and we had determined the value here so i hope this much of addressing for the rectangular cavity resonator is sufficient by the next lecture we start to analyze the circular cavity resonator to be obtained from circular waveguide so let us see the details into the next lecture so we shall be continuing into the same chapter for more such information and the topics like this on to the microwave engineering you can subscribe to ekeda channel thank you